this is something that we will send to the hospital that is in pink okay and then when they receive this they will need to put in patient samples and then we will do we will run uh, we will put this um in a machine or block that is at 65 degrees celsius for half an hour and then we can see the result whether it's positive or negative so this is the this is after half an hour so th in this tube we add the virus genetic materials just now so now it turns yellow so this is a positive result so if the patient is infected is infected by the virus we will expect to see yellow and in the second tube just now we add in a human patient samples and as you can see it remained pink again the isothermal amplification but the technology lamp is not new it's invented 20 years ago by Japanese scientist and uh, it uh, has been used for, for various other applications but it is, uh, is, uh, seems a very good technology for battle this, uh, for this application so that's why we adopted it because it's much faster if you do PCR that's a standard uh, test at the moment it takes about one and a half and two hours for the test and the way hours can be done within 30 minutes Well, you see, that for the clinic, you have to get a clinical test validation and the regulatory approval. So we need about 100 tests, nearly 100 tests, a mixture of positive and negative. After that, we can apply for regulatory approval. We can tell this test is okay. Then we will try to work with manufacturers, big com companies with large-scale manufacturing facility. So they can make hundreds of thousands of this. And so we are, we are looking for partners. We will try to get partners to, to do the large scale production. Right. The bottleneck at the moment is actually we get the clinical trial validation. After that, we believe in a matter of a week or two, we can, we can get the regulatory approval because it's, a, it's, a, it's a for professional use. And uh, so in a matter of weeks, we hope two to four weeks, we can get the test get out because we are